Hello and welcome to Think Watercolour. Uh, this is a demonstration sketch I did some time ago, but the soundtrack developed a fault, so I've re-recorded it today. Uh, I wanted to show three things with this demonstration. Uh, how to paint rusty metal, how to paint weathered wooden posts, and how to paint rocks. Uh, there are lots of ways to paint all of these things, but I just uh, wanted to give those of you who are new to watercolours some simple techniques to help you improve your skills. So let's get started. This is uh, Saunders Waterford 300 gram rough white paper. And once the sketch was completed, uh, I added masking fluid to areas where I wanted to retain the white of the paper for the foreground flowers. I washed in a simplified background using cobalt blue for the sky and a mixture of hooker's green and sap green for the hillside. And I used burnt sienna and ultramarine wet in wet to create the random rustiness of the gate. Just taking my time and just following the, uh, the sketch. Burnt sienna and ultramarine are ideal for mixing together to give this uh, nice rusty looking effect. I think the gate was placed here by the farmer uh, to cover up a, uh, a damaged part of a dry stone wall. Uh, I think the intention originally was uh, to be a temporary fix but it seems to have uh, become permanent. I guess I'll never know. A watery mix of um, ultramarine and uh, little Payne's grey was used for the initial wash of the wooden posts and the stones. This is just the underpainting before I put uh, the darker colours over the top later once this is dry. And I used a slightly stronger mix for the shadows on the posts, adding a touch of the green as well. Using a stronger mix of the same colours, ultramarine and Payne's grey, I then painted the uh, initial wash for the shadows on the stones. I used the side of a rigger brush uh, to scumble across the tooth of the paper to indicate the lichen and granulations on the stones. I used a range of colours from various shades of uh, hooker's green and sap green to uh, yellow ochre uh, and some more of the ultramarine uh, grey mix. Just picking up the tooth of the paper And then strengthen the shadows on the um, wooden posts to give them a bit more depth and definition. And uh, the same with the shadows on the rocks, adding uh, much darker shadows in the gaps between the rocks. Gradually building up with uh, different textures using the side of the rigger for the lichen and the uh, granulation on the rocks. and. Um, strengthening those shadows. Just using the tip of the rigger just to put some cracks in the uh, wooden stakes. And for the foreground grasses, it was hooker's green and sap green, various mixtures, You just using the rigger again. For the barbed wire, I used um, Payne's grey and just added a little bit of highlights with a gel pen, white gel pen. Once the painting was uh, completely dry I removed the masking fluid and added the flower details in the foreground. And I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this quick demonstration useful. Uh, please give it a like, Help always helps with um, YouTube. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, do subscribe. I will be posting more videos on a regular basis in the future. And thanks again for watching.